Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply damage to a building that makes it look like there is a hole in it, even though this image itself does not allow you to do that without a few extra techniques. And I'm going to show you the basics of how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this building and I'm going to apply a few techniques to create damage that makes it look like the adjacent building is still behind it. First thing I'm going to do is use the lasso tool and I'm going to select my image. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, honestly, you don't even need to select the entire layer. I'm just going to select the whole layer to keep things from getting too confusing. But you only need to select the part that matters. Okay, right click, layer via copy. Hide my city. You can see all the different uh, damages that I've done in the building and how they're all hidden by the city itself. Grab the eraser tool. Make sure your brush is something that's gonna look like it's creating damage. And just start cutting a hole through it. Nothing huge, so you don't have to make your job too hard. Okay, so that's pretty good. Bring back the previous layer, select that layer, and now we are going to select the clone stamp tool and we're going to take a sample of that adjacent building. Hold down Alter Option, click on the farthest edge of the building that you can, and make sure your city layer is selected and just start filling it in. And you notice it doesn't fill in everywhere because it is actually filling in the part of the building that we erased. And that's a good thing. Okay, there you go. It doesn't quite look perfect, but that's okay. It's not gonna, it doesn't really matter if it looks perfect or not. And you can get as detailed as you want with this to make it look as real as possible, totally up to you. Now, what we're going to do is grab our famous Sarajevo destroyed building and drag it into this area. And it automatically goes between the two layers, which is great, but I need to make some adjustments. Transform, make it a little smaller so the floors of the damaged building conform to the floors of, of the uh, original building. Enter. I want to flip that. So, edit, transform, flip horizontal, better. Command T again, rotate it a little bit so it's conforming better to the rest of the building. Now, grab the eraser tool, make your brush smaller, and just start getting rid of pieces of it to have that wonderful damage effect. And you'll see that the background stamp painting that I created is still there so it makes it look like the building is still there as well. So in previous videos I went through all the different techniques of how to properly blend the damaged building with the original building such as the burn tool, color correction, things like that and you definitely want to apply it to this building so it can look natural but that's how you do it. We're pretty much done with destroying the city. I'm going to destroy it further, but in the next series of videos, we're going to go ahead and get started with isolating and adjusting the photographs of our cast and integrating it into our poster.